Good morning. I'm on the uh, Lower Brandon Road where I live and I'm just uh, taking a little dander along the road just to let you see the state of the tarmac. Um, some people talk about Northern Ireland uh, being a sort of a, a patchwork quilt uh, from the air. Well, if you look at this road, it's like a patchwork quilt uh, of tarmac because it has been dug up so many times and there's so many cracks in it. There's, uh, you know, and, and you're saying to yourself, is this what I'm paying my road tax for? You know, the, the road is breaking up. So you look at the state of that road, that tarmac there, it's all breaking up. And they, it's been it's been dug up here. Dug up all over the place. And then you get a situation like this just at the junction where you've got different lines going down the tarmac. And you know this this is all very well for the motorist, but you see one of our a cyclist or a motorcyclist comes across, across these different types of tarmac. So from from having grip here, you have no grip here. Uh, this this is exact. This is extremely dangerous for a motorcyclist or a cyclist. Again, just another example of the patchwork quilt of tarmac. Here we have it. Ooh, that's a good bit over there, yes, I like that. And as I say, this might be uh, okay for uh, folks travelling in a car or a lorry. They wouldn't feel this or it wouldn't, it wouldn't have any uh, impact on their driving skills or ability. But if you're on a motorbike or on a bicycle, then it's a different matter. Just another wee example of the way the road is breaking up here. And it obviously uh, needs uh, attention. Different types of tarmac again. The road is in an extremely poor state. And this is what I am paying my road tax for. And we're head, heading down. This is, I've just walked a, a few hundred yards and I'm seeing all sorts of uh, different types of road tarmac. Absolutely unbelievable in, a, in such a, a short uh, period of time or distance. Somebody has, has dug this, this whole area up here. And there's, there's uh, cracks in the road as well. And we've got the, the road ramps as well to add to the, the joy of driving. More and more cracks. Isn't this wonderful? What, what uh, cyclists and, and, and motorcyclists have to negotiate. This road should be re -tarmacked. It's an absolute shambles. And here we are at the base of the Lower Braniel Road. And more and more cracks in evidence. And of course, uh, these fill with rainwater, and they, the different surfaces are difficult to uh, negotiate because you don't know what you're going to be hitting, and the cracks draw you into them if you're on a bicycle. And this is not a good scenario to drive on. These particular cracks here are take you to the fur. If I'm on my, my motorbike and I'm hitting cracks like that, 
that gouge. Your your ability to drive in a straight line is, is going to be impaired, especially if there's leaves or anything like that over the top of them. It's this kind of rut here uh, that really takes me to the fur on the motorbike. Now you, you imagine your front wheel going into that on a, on a bicycle or a motorbike. It's going to take you in a particular direction and maybe not the direction that you want to go. More and more lines up the middle of the road. And here somebody somebody has tried to patch this one. Of course it's a different uh, surface. More and more. And, and the, these uh, these cuts or breaks, they're, they're, uh, you can stick your finger down them. Oh, here's here's uh, here's the road breaking up completely here. <laughs> Anybody like myself manages to uh, ride safely down this kind of uh, roadway. You know, you just have to be so on your guard. So this is the junction between uh, the Lower Braniel Road and the Gilnahurk Road and we have cracks galore, we have lines down the middle of the road, we have the road disintegrating and we have different uh, types of tarmac in different places where it's been dug up umpteen times and not very well patched together. So we have different types of road surfaces, we have different types of levels of road surface and it's just a very very sad old road that needs re-tarmacking before somebody gets killed or badly injured. The Lower Braniel Road, Gilna Hurt Belfast and I'm sure there are many, many roads a lot worse or like it. And here we are just outside uh, the school at the traffic lights and this gouge continues on down the road. Running parallel to the road and there's a similar one just over on the other side if you can see it and this makes it really really difficult uh, on a motorbike or a bicycle coming up or down this road two gouges Now it's quite clear that uh, the tarmacking on this ro road leaves a lot to be desired. It, it's, clearly, it's clearly a mess. One gouge there, running right the way down the road. On down. Down towards the uh, the big uh, Catholic grammar. This road is one serious mess.
nice slippery surface there. Very little grip on that kind of tarmac. And then we've got the normal tarmac, but it's been cut across by different gouges and it's been it's breaking up all over the place. Here's a nice wee hole for your bicycle wheel or your motorbike tire to slip into. Oh, lovely. Different patchwork here. And again, our, our line down the middle of the road. The Lower Branyal Road, December 2014. Happy motoring, happy motorcycling and happy cycling.